I love stories about revolution. I love movies about freedom where there's a group of people, they're being oppressed, they're being held down and held back, they're being enslaved, and the hero rides into town, usually on a big horse. They never ride into town on a moped, you know. No, Why is that? I'm here to save the day. Just not the quite same dramatic effect, I guess. I don't know. And and the hero starts a revolution. They shout, freedom! And they start a movement. It is chest-thumping stuff, man. It makes you proud to be an American, even when it's about 13th century Scotland. It makes you just proud because you're watching freedom, and you're watching people be set free, and that's a great thing. Well, here's some incredibly good news. In fact, it's the best news of all. Jesus is the ultimate revolutionary. He started a revolution. It was a revolution of love. It wasn't the revolution that people expected. It wasn't the, the revolution that people were looking for, but it was the revolution that people needed, and it was a revolution of love. And in Luke chapter 4, Jesus rides into town, and he makes his intentions completely clear. He, he goes to his hometown, goes to the church in his hometown, and he stands up and he reads a part of the Old Testament book of Isaiah and lets people know here is what the revolution is all about. And we're going to read that. It says this. He stands up. He reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. He rolled up the scroll. He handed it back back to the attendant, and he sat down. All eyes in the synagogue looked at him intently. Then he began to speak to them. The scripture you've just heard has been fulfilled this very day. So Jesus is saying, hey, the revolution is here. Here's what it looks like. Thump your chest, because the revolution has begun. He raises his flag, and he says, here is what the revolution is all about. It's all about freedom! Jesus has been anointed and appointed to bring freedom to the poor. He's been anointed and appointed to bring freedom to the captives of sin and selfishness. He he's, brings healing and hope to the blind, to the bruised, to the brokenhearted. It's all about freedom. He brings hope. He brings freedom. Now, once we enter into relationship with Jesus, here's a, a, some crazy good news. We are given the same mission. We, we become freedom fighters. We become revolutionaries for the ultimate revolutionary. We become freedom fighters just like Jesus was. We have been anointed. We have been appointed to bring the revolution to a broken world. So thump your chest in the name of the ultimate revolutionary. Join the revolution. Realize that, that, that what Jesus was all about is what we are now all about. And it's all about freedom. It's all about bringing freedom to a world that has been enslaved. So join the revolution. Dump your chest and come on, get on board. God bless you guys. Giddy up.